Neil says, hey guys, is there a way to add an external guest to a channel and where she also cannot see the other channels within the team so she can only see what's in that particular channel? But why? Yes. But why? I know. But I'm, why? I'm exactly the same, but why? Don't, yeah, I mean, don't question the people asking questions. Like, <laughs> let's just go answer the question for Neil. Come on. Depending on where they are or what they do or who they are, you could have a shared channel yeah, or <laughs> that too, yeah. that too. Um, shared or private channels. But I mean, you're going to limit the technology. You're creating a separate SharePoint and things like that anyway. Why don't you just create a new team? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, you give people access to the one channel. So with a private It has channel, to be a shared channel because a private channel gives you access to the right. team and separates yep. out to give more. Okay, whereas right. a shared channel takes your team and adds the extra person to just one channel. So it's a shared channel going out. I mean, it has some of the technology challenges in the back end and like what features and functionalities do you need for the technology? Because the moment you break out into a shared or a private, you're going to limit down the tools that you've actually got inside your team to be able to work with them. And then you're doing a lot of duplication anyway with that extra person from your team to the other team being a shared channel why not just create a you know another team frankly where you got all the features and functionality and with a shared mm -hmm. channel you also have to assume that the external party is willing to do a b2b trust to your active directory right. because a, uh, that's part a of a shared of channel people. right that was yeah. going to make that point there's more more work that has to be done and whether your organization and their organization will allow that trust to be put in place versus just add them as an external guest to a mm -hmm. site, which is a lot easier. Much easier. You still then have yes. to organizationally allow the external guests, <laughs> but fewer hoops to jump through than with the shared channel. So again, it goes back to like so many of these questions, it depends, what are you trying to do here? This is where we don't have the benefit of follow-up questions to Neil. The bane of most ends questions. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't got anyone to grill. Mm. Yeah. But this goes back again, if you're if you're trying to restrict the view into different parties, uh, and limit that view, the easiest way to do that with external guests is just to create a new team specifically for that. Yeah, I've had uh, lots of organizations working with, they're just turning off shared and private um, because the complexity and then you can't migrate them back again afterwards. So if it's only temporary, you can't bring them back. You know, there's the limitations on what you can do, the mess to sometimes create with, now you've got another SharePoint and people then can't find their information because you've got another SharePoint, especially if they live a lot through SharePoint rather than Teams. So then there's the duplication of content from one to the other, potentially, you may as well just have a whole nother SharePoint. And anyway, that's everyone's in there's So they just, they're just turning a lot of it, a lot of it off, especially when it's dealing with sometimes with externals, even with internals. So yeah, it's, I mean, there's, remember, a, there's a lot of cases for it, but yeah. You, well, a lot of cases for it. I mean, I, I actually argue uh, against that is that yeah. there's one case for it and it was a very a large customer that Microsoft then committed to go and build that functionality. And that happens sometimes. I realize I'm, you know, being facetious. They're like there are, I'm sure, many scenarios around that. But this is one of those with shared and private channels where it caused a lot of consternation uh, amongst the mm -hmm. MVP crowd uh, and, and mm -hmm. other practitioners that are saying, this is more headache than mm -hmm. it is to, to manage Benefit. this stuff. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I don't understand. You're right, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, I don't understand why everybody's so stressed about having to build another team or another site. Right. Like, why is that such yeah. a big deal? Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, part of it was just the sprawl of having all of those different teams. And it's like, look, they're, it, depending on what you're doing, and I, I realize that there are uh, a lot of organizations out there where that's a, a serious problem. And there are, again, add-ons there are third-party tools that can help you manage that complexity of in your left nav of 
all of those sites and you can pin, you can favor it, you can hide, you can do other things around that. And you can have, sometimes you just have to rely on search more than, than others if it is that complex. But um, there are options that are out there. There are options that are easier than the security and compliance and uh, a, a, an effort into managing a lot of these features like the shared and private channels. So there are options that are out there. Just uh, so you, you have to look at with a lot of this, not can I do this thing, but should you do these things and, and what are the impacts? What am I really trying to achieve? What are the business outcomes? And they start creating one and then they create more or misunderstand and then they don't un them because they don't understand what happens in that complexity or literally had one recently where every channel was a private channel in their team. Oh, and I'm like going, oh, oh, yeah. And there wasn't even just one of them. There was 20 channels, <laughs> so 20 channels, and they were all private for each individual. I'm going, oh, what do you do? Oh, they my, don't want I just, that, that many teams. Yes. Just that oh, no. many sites. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so it was just, I, I saw it and there was, and I just about had a heart attack. And then there, then I started seeing more of it. And I went, well, that's, they just, they didn't get it or understand it. They assumed. And I'm like, oh, you may as well have. <laughs> anyway, it was one of those ones where I had a bit of a, you know. And the next question they're going to ask is, how do you archive a private mm -hmm. channel? That's yeah. the next question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there was, a, and I've tried to create, you know, a planner and why can't I create a planner and I can do it in this channel, but why can't I do it in this channel? And so it just went on and on and on and on from the questions around it. And I'm like going, guys, and well, how can we start then merging that all over? We'll put it into a new team and we'll, and we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll fix it. No, well, you could bring in some maybe third-party tools. Oh, we don't want to spend that kind of money. It's like, well, I guess you're starting again, aren't you? So, yeah. So they probably didn't want to pay for all that training either, did they? That's right, exactly. Until it was too late and they're in pain. And it's then in pain that they call in the likes of me. So I just say, don't, don't do it. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> just just create another team. Just don't. I'm with Sharon. Just don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>